Thanks guys for watching this video. We're gonna go through a detailed process on how to use our Quickie HD hybrid edging in an open grade application, the tools that you're gonna to need to do so, and so let's jump right in. These are the necessary tools for installing our Quickie HD hybrid edging. First, we're gonna start with our sand plow, knocking that number eight stone down from the edge, getting it ready for the installation of our HD hybrid edging, a pair of snips for cutting the edging, and say a curved area or a corner. Then we have our stakes for driving into that number eight, number 57 stone. And in order to do so, we're gonna need our hammer drill. So the first step is our sand plow, and this is gonna be used to knock the sand or the number eight stone down from the edge, getting it ready for the edge restraint. The sand plow is a universal tool for all edge restraint applications. If you wanna know some more information on this tool, I encourage you to check out our last video where we displayed great tips and tricks to using the sand plow. The link is on the screen and in the description below. So a couple tricks when installing the hybrid edging. One is when you're setting the hybrid edging in, don't just set it there. You'll see once we pull these pavers out, there's that feet angle. Since we took it down a half inch, the stone is about falling under about a half inch. So you can see that here. Instead, what we wanna do is keep the edging about half inch, three quarters of an inch away from the edge, grab onto it, shuck it back and forth, and kind of push it back in to that edge. That's pushing that number nine stone, number eight stone, back underneath the pavers. When snipping or hybrid edging, there's a couple spots you can do it. One is where the tab flips up from, right there. We always take it snip it and if you're doing an inside curve it even helps to take these and bend them up a little bit so that way you're not catching the edge when you bring this unit back in if you need a real sharp corner you can go where these divots are here you can snip there as well sometimes it takes a little bit of force and if you're going real steep you can snip across here into where the V is and then across this point if you're using open graded we want to keep as many of those V's open to drive our stakes, but you could do every other. A lot of times I'll just do each one of these. Again, this is an outside curve, so we don't really necessarily have to flip those tabs up. And that can affect anything. Once I get them snipped, be all set. And lay it into place. Sometimes it can be beneficial taking the stake and a hammer and actually going before you use the hammer drill just to get these units started. I usually start them on a little bit of an angle going towards underneath the pavers. As I hit it, I'll pull it back towards it and then we'll let it set. In this application, we're doing a HD hybrid stake every other slot due to the customer having a fairly large lawnmower and running over that edge. In an application with just foot traffic, we would suggest doing an HD hybrid stake every third slot. In a vehicular traffic application, driveway application, we would recommend doing HD hybrid stake in every other slot with flipping up each of those support tabs. In some special applications, you may need to install an HD hybrid stake every slot as well as flip up every support tab. So now that we've got our stakes pre-put in, ready to go, we'll go back through with the hammer drill. We're gonna do this from the outside of the pavers. We will push our toe up against these stakes, up against the edging, keeping it tight, and then we'll drive those stakes down in.
Here's a great way to get this number 57 sewn, number nine sewn back underneath where some of these edge uh, stakes when driven in kind of undermined a little bit. So just take this hammer drill, put it on an angle just like this. You don't wanna go straight down on an angle. Drive that stone in. That's driving that stone into the stake which is pushing it tighter to the edging. The other thing you can do is we have these tabs on it. The tabs you can take as long as you put that one side of the hammer drill you can tap those tabs back down and that tilts them down puts more pressure on the back side of this edging pulling that hybrid edging tight. We'll take our tab flipper here slide it in this groove flip that last tab sometimes this groove isn't quite enough to get it to go down in you can always take an edging spike open that up a little bit so you're Next piece slides over it. Also make sure there's no stones in between those two pieces. So now we come to the last piece. I'm gonna make sure we get it cut right to this edge here. You can see this is gonna be my point right here. Now you could technically cut here because this is gonna obviously cover this paver. But for this purpose, let's cut here. We'll make a little tick mark here. To give ourselves some room. And I'm gonna cut right into this edge, right here. You can bend this out of the way if you want when you're doing this. We'll cut back, and then we'll cut down from the top here. Okay. All right. Let's so get it close, we can take it, bend it back and forth a couple of times. You make that break. Set this one off to the side. We're gonna bend back our last tab Sometimes I'll just use the snips if I can't find the special tool for it. We'll bend that tab up, set that next piece on here, push it down in, bring it over, and there you go. Perfect every time. So anytime we're getting any jointing in between our edge or straight and our paver, we always want to make sure we're filling that with either A, number eight stone here shown otherwise with your poly sand or your wet sand so either of those applications you want to take that stone pull it up in make sure you're filling those voids you can see how I'm doing that there sometimes you might have to use the back side of the broom as well it might help to get those pulled up So you can see here, we have a little bit of a divot where we drove that spike in on the outside edge. So you get that little divot. So what's gonna happen when you do hit it with your VPR 450, VPR 700, your rolling compactors, even a play compactor, when you vibratory roll this top, go right up against that edge. Make sure you hit the edge really well. It's kind of opposite of concrete. Concrete, you don't wanna hit the edge. With our edging, you're gonna wanna make sure you hit the edge real good. It's gonna vibratory that number eight stone right into place, you won't have a problem. When we wanna put our top stone, we're gonna take that number eight, number 57 stone back down to the top of the edging. We're gonna fill this up with top sole right to this top edge. We're gonna pack it real good with a tamper. Uh, we'll also put some fabric, the filter fabric, whether it's tie par fabric or felt fabric to protect the stone from any of the topsoil migrating into the base. Many of the fundamentals that you saw throughout this video apply to any edge restraint install. There was a couple tricks that we showed you for installing our HD hybrid edging and if you have any questions or need more information on how to install it please give us a call 860-870-8665 also, check out our website, pavetool.com, Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks again.